Hello, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be doing a basic engine service on this Suzuki Carry. So this is a 2004 Suzuki Carry K truck, recently imported from Japan. So it has a 657cc three-cylinder engine. It's a five-speed manual transmission with four-wheel drive with a low ratio. You'll notice something obviously missing here. If you saw one of the other, other videos, you'll know why. So I've just had to replace this coolant tank. I've left the bumper off because I'm gonna be rust proofing this vehicle. Not today, because it's really, really cold, as you can probably tell from my breath. But today is the basic engine service, which means engine oil and oil filter, air filter and spark plugs. I've already warmed it up just a little bit to help the oil flow out. And of course, it's raised up as you can see. I'm not sure whether you could do all of this without raising it up. I think you probably could, but as I say, in my case, it's, it's raised up anyway, so I guess we won't get to find that out. Let's get started. Right, let's start by locating our engine. It's under here. Two clips on this side. Basically squish the seat like that, and then this, I think this just hooks onto here. I've not worked on one of these before, by the way, which is why I say I think rather than speaking with complete confidence. Just a single clip on this side. Just give you a quick tour around the engine bay then. So we're on the driver's side or we're under the driver's seat at the moment. So airbox, we'll be coming to that in a little while. Uh, dipstick, alternator. You can just about see the oil drain plug down at the bottom there, but we'll be coming at that from a different angle, uh, i.e. underneath. You may notice the interior of this vehicle isn't particularly clean yet. It's only just been imported and I like to get the mechanical things sorted out first and then do the cleaning afterwards. I'll just show you the other side now. And here we are under the passenger seat. So oil fill just there, spark plugs behind there. We'll be coming to those in a bit as well. All right, I've moved to my mobile for this bit of video just because it's a lot easier to record under the car. Hope the audio is okay. So let's open the drain plug. This is a 17 millimeter. Because it's recessed it's quite hard to do the old quick undo and withdraw so I think we might just let it fall and go fishing afterwards I know caught it in the socket jolly good so I'll let that drain Okay, we're under kind of the, the middle uh, between the yeah middle of the of the truck now, slightly more over towards the passenger side. Uh, and I'm just going to take the oil filter off, or at least I hope I am. It's kind of quite difficult to reach. Difficult to reach with with you there as well is how I was going to finish my sentence. We appear to have a Toyota filter on here for reasons best known to the person who fitted it, but not to me. I guess they might well be the same as the Suzuki equivalent. Oil doesn't look too bad, but because the vehicle's just arrived with me, you, you kind of never know, so I always like to like to change it. Also, they've often been run quite a lot, but never warmed up. So 
so the oil hasn't necessarily always been looked after that well. Right, whilst the oil's draining, let's move on to the air filter. I'm going to come up there. Yeah. Not too bad, but as with the other things, I've got a fresh one, so I'm going to change it. A little bit of dust in the bottom of the air box there, but not really enough that I could actually vacuum it and make a great deal of difference. Okay, that's the air filter done. Let's move on to the spark plugs. These look like eight millimeter. this jacking rod out of the way. Just to give me a bit more space to work. Yeah, that's better. Just need a little levering device to move them off the socket while I'm pressing the clip down. And then that one doesn't feel like it's releasing properly. That one is. Okay, I think I'll do that middle one once I've taken the other two off because I think I'm making things harder for myself than they need to be. Over to the familiar territory of the 10mm socket. Have a good look at the state of all of these as we're taking them off. They all look good. As you'd expect them to, although this vehicle is 17 years old, it's only done about 55,000 kilometres, which is roughly 34,000 miles.
Now they don't look too bad. Although they do look quite worn at the same time. So <laughs> I'm glad I'm replacing them. I'll take a picture of that one because it's quite difficult to show it on video. Okay, so straight back in with some fresh plugs, put a little bit of oil on the threads and the gap is between 0.8 and 0.9, which is uh, uncharacteristically imprecise, but never mind, I've set the gap to, uh, <laughs> to between those two numbers. Uh, so do them up by hand and hand tight first of all. And then once they're hand tight, between a quarter and half a turn, just to seat them. There we go. So just under a quarter of a turn for each of those, just uh, kept going until it, they felt tight enough, uh, no point in over tightening them. Okay, oil packed back in. Let's finish off the oil change. The oil's had plenty of time to drain now. It's pretty much stopped dripping. Let's give that sealing surface a little wipe. Install the new filter. I've put a little bit of oil around the seal on this filter. Feels good. A sump plug with a new washer. Time for some fresh oil. I'm using a fully synthetic 5W30. As I do for an awful lot of vehicles of this age. Fill 
volume is three litres with a filter change. I'm going to do two and a half and see how we're looking after that. Okay, let's see how we're looking on the dipstick. About two thirds of the way up. So I'll just probably put another two or three hundred mils in and then start it up and then we can top it up finally once uh, once the engine's been running. Let's start it up and check everything's all right. We're in neutral. Okay, so I've got it nice and warm. There's no leaks. I'm now just going to top up the oil so it's at the full mark on the dipstick. I'm not going to show you that because, well, there's only so much pouring oil into an engine and checking a dipstick that can be interesting on a, on a video. So I'm going to uh, top that up and then we'll be all done. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this type of thing, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. There's going to be lots more videos about this and other Japanese import vehicles, at least working on them on this channel. For, for test drives and stuff like that, I'll be putting the videos over on my other channel, Andrew's Japanese Cars. I'll put links in the description to that. That's it for now then. Good to see you. Thanks very much. And I'll look forward to seeing you again for the next one. Bye for now.